Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And today I'm here to do the colorful makeup tag. So I was just kind of in the mood to do a makeup tag. And I decided to just dive into the makeup tag tag on YouTube. I guess hashtag makeup tags. And I found this tag from Anya. So Anya is a less active channel, but one that I had found a couple of years ago. And Anya always does really daring, colorful makeup looks. And it kind of just made me a little nostalgic for, for some of the creators that I was watching more when they were more active. And I thought it was just a fun makeup tag to do. So I will have Anya's video linked in the description box and we're just going to jump into the questions. So the first question is when and why did you start using color? So in terms of like makeup memories that I really can think about, I, I feel like the bold lip has been a thing I really enjoyed for, for dare I say decades now? I still remember somehow acquiring one of those matte tarte chubby lip pencils that were popular um wow how long ago was this who knows but it was a bright bright pink matte formula super easy to put on because of the pencil and i used that like I wouldn't say I used it up, but I definitely wore it down where it was like a flat kind of pencil shape um, after a while. And I wore that so, so much. And like I said, I've always loved like a bright, usually pink bold lip for a very long time. Once I got into eyeshadow, I feel like probably one of the first bright colorful palettes I picked up was the NYX uh, Vivid Brights, the 16 pan like square palette. And I felt like I was just like so amazing and colorful in that. And I'm sure that like YouTube or something like that led me to buying that. But the brand that really got me into color and made me feel more comfortable using it was Juvia's Place. I remember when Nikki Tutorials got the masquerade palette from Juvia's and was doing videos on it and I was like Ex -ex excuse me what is that magic what 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 am I seeing and so I bought it and I think that is really what opened up the floodgates because the blues and the purples and the greens, especially the shimmers, those colors were just so in your face and like no holds bar, even more than the mattes. Cause I felt like Juvia's mattes and me were, we've always just been on like an okay relationship. Like, I liked them at one point in time, but I realized I don't think I ever really loved them. And now I'm, eh. But the Masquerade palette, goodness gracious, that definitely, that definitely set things off. Between that and the Magic palette, I think the Magic palette from Juvia's is where I really found my, like, duochrome, pastel, and brights like love versus like the masquerade which was more like jewel tone and vivids the magic palette oh that palette okay what the second question is what is your favorite color to wear i would say this is like choosing your favorite child but like i never in my life wanted children and i still don't so that's not really accurate for me but i can't pick one it's a combo it's one to punch. It's 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 not going to be a surprise at all because it's yellow and green. Yellow and green together on me is uh, it's just I love yellow blush, 
yellow eyeshadow, green eyeshadow, green liner, green lipstick. I love like yellowy tone greens. The the this is this is chartreuse technically like the chartreuses, the the neons like oh, I love those two colors on me in particular. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick green because then I could consider chartreuse, which is pretty yellow green as the as 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 a part of that. But I'm not picking one; I'm picking two. Okay. Um, the third question is, who are your favorite influencers to follow who inspire you color-wise? So many people and some regulars for sure. The way Lauren May Beauty plays with color, the way Lacey Spooky Lips and Fat Hips plays with color, um, Butte Bean, Betty Jean, the way she mixes colors so many people wait I need to go on Instagram and see because I feel like I'm vastly missing people I would say the way Julia K March puts together colors is so beautiful um, faces by Gina does so much with color and constantly makes me very jealous of, of her lid space same with Audra at home. There are other people that I can think of between now and the time this video goes up. I will just have like pictures and names on the screen because I feel like I am missing some people. Ooh, Donnie Darkowitz. I just saw this beautiful image. Like, come on. Okay, so those are those are some of the people who inspire me with their play with color. The th next question is, what do your family and friends think of your colorful makeup style? I think that people have gotten more used to it, but I still get like, oh, I can never do that. Or like, oh, that's like, you know, I think that, I think that at first, sometimes people are like, that's a, that's a lot of makeup on your face. And then they realize that like, I'm just playful with my makeup. And I think that they get used to it. And I mean, luckily, people that care about me haven't said anything that made me feel shitty. I can't say the same for previous bosses and, and co-workers, but yeah, I think pretty much people are like, Emily's just being her weird creative self, and I'm cool with that. The next question is, is there a color that you're looking for a perfect formula with? You know what? There is there is it's the damn colors that are on my nails it's like neon neon yellow green i have been on the hunt for neon yellow green i have one good like chartreuse eyeshadow that i love from lethal cosmetics but i would love one that has a little bit more pigment like bang to it i would love a liner like this like both a waterline liner and a liquid liner and all of the ones that I've tried just do not hold up to it I've tried the new Milani fruit fetish liquid liner I've tried the urban decay there with their wired collection they released a liner that color I've tried the Terra moon neon and starlight the liquid liner looks kind of crackly the pencil liner like barely shows up barely applies to my waterline it just doesn't transfer into the waterline at all the neon shadow from terra moon is a very chalky formula it's very challenging to get a lot of pigment um even like in the inner corner i feel like to get the pigment i want sometimes it can start looking like my eyes are a desert and i I want to look like a dessert, not a desert. I do have a cushion color from Danessa Myricks that is that color, but even that one, like I can't use it as a liner. I can really just use it as a base. So yeah, that's the formula that I'm looking for. And any recommendations are welcome. Okay, this is a question I've answered quite a few times, I think in different tags and things, but that is, would you rather wear neutral lips and colorful eyes or colorful lips and neutral eyes for the rest of your life? And I will go with neutral lips and colorful eyes. 
because I can, you know, I know this is orange, I consider this a neutral, I consider anything Prapa has in their line right now as a neutral, and this is a Prapa lipstick, and I have so much more retail split space to play with on the rest of my face, and it lasts for so much longer than anything I put on my lips. The next question is, what is your opinion on glitter? Love it, hate it, why? I have grown to love glitter, but I understand its evil ways. So I think glitter is just really fun and can be really fun to play with. Even pressed glitters, ones that are like more clear in tone are so much fun as like a highlighter topper. I really like some loose glitters. Sometimes I'll put them, like I have some loose star glitter that I'll put on my like tear duct area or that kind of thing. I don't love most pressed glitters and I wouldn't put any glitter on my eyes without glitter glue. But I also don't tend to put glitter like on my lid because my eyes are so hooded. I fear that hooded shape would cause the glitter to kind of rub off even with glitter glue and fall into my eyes. So I have grown to really enjoy it, but only in very specific places and placements. And the last question is, what is your go-to colorful eyeshadow palette at the moment? That's really a hard question for me because I love my singles, but I looked a little in my collection and I have to say the palette that I think is really a gorgeous standalone palette for colors but also pairs nicely with other palettes, has a good mix of mattes and shimmers, is the Kaleidos Escape Pod with the row of shimmers here these mattes this shimmer this matte like it's 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 just beautiful and while it might not be a full like rainbow palette i find that it's just stunning and i love it and the colors are like bright enough where it feels like a colorful palette but you can deepen things up, you can lighten things up, you can pull in neutrals if you want. This palette, it is beautiful. It was sent to me in PR, so there is that, but I had my eyes on it anyway, if they had not sent it to me. So that was the colorful makeup tag. If you are a creator, and you have never done this tag before and you feel inspired, consider yourself tagged. Let me know if you do this tag, I would love to watch. If you are watching and you just want to answer some questions in the comments, please, please, please leave them. Colorful makeup memories or your favorite go-to colorful palette, your thoughts on glitter, love it or hate it. Let's just talk. Let's talk down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more tags from me, more opinionated videos, give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thank you so much for spending a bit of your day with me please stay safe wear a damn mask take care of yourself and hopefully i will see you again real soon bye friends